It was definitely great, um, just trying to adjust to the speed of the game and learning to just play with a lot better players and a lot more speed and a lot stronger guys. But it was also good just being in the room, the linebacker room, watching it sap and just seeing him and, how him and Coach Dig talk to each other and, and just learning the game like that. That helped me a lot, too. You watched Sapp in that role last year. Has A.J. taken on a similar role in the meeting room this year? Oh, yeah. He, I mean, A.J.'s always been the leader in the room, even last year. So, I mean, A.J.'s role stayed the same. He, he's always been the, the guy in the room. Just, I think, below 100 passing yards actually the last two games. Just what is that done for the confidence of this defense going into kind of the grind yard up against these next few weeks? I was definitely good. Um, you know, we try to come out, just perform our standard every week. Um, our D-line is playing great and our secondary is playing great. So I, I think that's why you see teams have been uh, struggling to throw the ball against us lately. So it's definitely good when those, when those two groups are playing playing well with each other. Asia, just what's the difference with this defense versus previous defenses you've played on? Why has this defense been so much more productive so far? It's we say this our second year in the defense, so everybody out there more confident. We have been playing with each other for 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 four years now. We got a lot of guys who who bonded, who haven't probably haven't seen the field as much, but they are on the field, so we know each other. We've been playing together, a lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication. Me and Jalen communicate real well on the field, so that make everything go smooth with the safeties dropping down, communicating. It's it just all flowing together. Hey, Jay, when you see the improvements that you guys have made this year by staying in the same system two years in a row, does it make you wonder what it might have been if you'd gotten to play in the same system all four years? No, I really don't think of it that way. Um, it's, it's, I think it was a blessing to be able to play in different defenses, so I'll, be able to learn different schemes and different defense, but it it been nice to be able to play. It been nice these um, these two years to be able to play in it. So it, it worked off. It worked. It worked for the better itself. So. Yeah, what you were saying last week, you felt this defense kind of overachieved a little bit. What would y'all's response be to that? Do y'all think y'all's overachieved so far, or what were your expectations going into the season? I, I would say no, just because. Um, I mean, nobody really knows the work we put in except for those guys in that room with us um, throughout the summer, throughout the spring. You know, we, we grind together. So, I mean, we hold each other accountable, and I expect big things from, from all my teammates. So, I wouldn't say that as much. When you hear your coach say that you're overachieving, does that motivate you guys to keep producing the same results to prove to him that it's maybe who you are and not that you're overachieving? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say he's not a motivation. You know, we just we just try to go out there and play for each other. I mean, we got we all got each other's back, and you know, that's what we try to live by. We got a standard, and we try to play to that standard every week. What did it do for you guys to you know not have to play a whole game on Saturday? Basically, we're gonna sit around and watch the fourth quarter, and you know, yeah. get some rest and watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was it was. It was it was nice. Um, it was good for the Sega the Sega stream and the young guys to be able to get in there and get some plays and let them develop a little more because they probably ain't experienced game playing in the game. So it was a, it was good for them to experience playing the game, and we'll be able to correct correct what they did wrong and critique and stuff like that just to improve their game. Hey Jay, how much were you trying to help Yako kind of adapt to playing linebacker? He's still kind of a little bit new to football. How much were you trying to help him? Yeah, he probably is a little new to football, but um, he do, he doing he doing good. It's he getting better each day. I can say that. I know me and him are roommates in the hotel, so we we go over plays and stuff like that before the game and formations and checks. So he getting the knowledge of the game down real well. So just putting it all together, going out there and doing it, and he doing well so far. Who else impressed you? I guess when the young guys were out there, who, who kind of stepped up? Who did you guys you see from watching on the sidelines? Um, I, mean, I think uh, Jakob, he flew around, made some tackles, um, looked good out there. Um, I always think Kenny, Kenny Bynum does a good job, but he's been getting more reps, you know, and earlier in the game also. Um, um, Vickers, Kendall Vickers played well while he was in there on the D-line. So, you know, but, um, you know, they gave up a touchdown and we were looking for that shutout. So we got to kind of get that stuff corrected and, and contribute with the young guys. Off each other, and how much 
do you think that helps I, I think I feed off AJ um, more than he feeds off me. You know, every game of the season, he always made fun of me because I, I didn't really get hyped or nothing after I made plays. So, you know, I'm just trying to match his intensity when I'm out there and, and just play, play to his standard. Yeah, go off what he said, like, early in the season, you know, every, every time he made a play, I wanted to go jump up and, and go crazy with him, but he was a little winded, so I was like, all right. He was like, I'm just getting my He was telling me I'm getting my mind right for the next play. That's all. I was like, all right, I, I respect that, but – it, I love it, man. I love I love seeing him make plays. He making he making plays in the backfield, and then, and when I see him do his celebration, it look little little <laughs> fist pump, little fist pump. I just get turned up. I know I know he's ready to go, and it just feel good seeing my teammates making plays, and and we having fun out there. That's that's the big thing. We we both having fun making plays, and we're excited for this week too. We we're, we're ready to go out there and have some fun again. How much pride do you guys take in as a, as a defensive? No matter what's going on with the offense or special teams or anything, you guys can keep this team in football games, in close football games, especially now that you got six more SEC games to go. Um, just playing complimentary football. Uh, you know, defense trying to put special teams in a good situation. Special teams trying to put the offense in a good situation. So we're just kind of trying to feed off each other, just doing whatever it takes to win the game. Andrew, what have you seen early from Ole Miss and what they do offensively? Well, we know we know they got to run a quarterback, so that's that's one thing we've been seeing all season. So we, we we're gonna be prepared for that, and they got a great defense, you know. But we haven't broke the film down to details and nothing like that. But we know they got they got a good good quarterback who can make plays and a great defense. I was saying, Miss Ole defense is ranked among the best in the nation in just about every category. How much is this kind of a chance for you guys to make a statement and just show what y'all have on defense as well? I mean, is that something you look forward to that opportunity? Or? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun opportunity. We know we get to go down there in a hostile environment, and you know we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be we're gonna be excited to go down there and play. So we're gonna go out there and do what we do, go make plays as a defense and do our job, and we're gonna have fun out there. So it's gonna be fun. You guys have been putting an awful lot of snaps. How how different do you feel this week not having to play as many snaps? I feel good every week. It don't matter. I can play. It don't matter to me. I feel good every week. I can play 80 snaps or 40 snaps. I, I'm always ready to go. Feel good. No nicks and bruises. Oh that, that. Oh that that comes with football. Each each weekend and out, you're gonna have bruises here, nick and bruises there. But that that's football, so it's part of the game, so that don't bother me. Um, I mean, it definitely feels good to kind of play, play a little bit less snaps. Um, my body feel, feels a lot better this week, um, like on a Monday after a game. But, you know, you, you're always going to be kind of beat up throughout the season. Even going through practice, you're going to get some little bruises here and there. But it's definitely good to get off the field and, and kind of rest a little bit. You talked about Jalen's fist pump. Where do, where do your celebrations come from? I think there's like a, a machine gun and like a, a big leg kick. Where, where did you pick those up from somebody? Or? It just, it just came. <laughs> but no, nah, the um, little machine gun thing. I used to do that in high school. Um, I used, to, I, I, just, I used to do that in high school with my team base. So that's one thing. We, used, we used in high school we used to say let the let the gun sound. So we used to my high school teammates. They, when they see that, they already know what I'm doing. But it just brought it brought it up to brought it up here this year. Just I'm like I gotta bring something back. And we like we like to know be known as light them up. We like going out there flying around and hitting people, and having fun. So that's where it probably came from this year. And then I, my little kick thing, it just <laughs> and one day it was just it just happened. The first time last year, I just I just did it. I don't know. I went. I don't know. I was just excited. And I just did it. And yeah, I just kept doing it. People like it. And my teammates were like that's fine. I'm like shoot, I'll, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> What do Coach Jones think about your celebrations? Does he mind them or is he okay with it? Oh, he 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 okay with it. He, he likes seeing us out there having fun. That's 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 a big thing. We out there having fun playing playing together. And you know when we celebrating, good things happen. We out there balling and stuff. So that just it just makes us play even better.